Hey friends, welcome back to Ball Homestead. My name is Beverly and I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna make a no need sourdough bread with just sourdough starter. And we're gonna let it set overnight and tomorrow we're gonna come back and bake it. So let's get started mixing this up. It's super simple and super quick to mix up. It won't take but a few minutes. First, we're gonna start out with three cups of room temperature water. I am just putting a lot warm to this water, not nothing hot or anything. There's one. And three. Now we need two and a half teaspoons of salt. We're going to mix in a cup of our sourdough starter. Oh, she smells nice and yeasty. We're gonna mix that together, the water and the sourdough starter and the salt. And now we're gonna add six cups of bread flour. I'm always scouring for recipes. This is a third cup measure, so three for one. One. Two. All right, we're gonna mix these first three cups in so it's kind of easy to mix that in and then we'll add the other three. That's what the recipe said to do. This is a no knead bread, so we won't have to take it out of the bowl and knead it or anything. Um, we're just gonna let it set overnight. Tomorrow we'll come back and finish it. I'm gonna stop there. If I need the other half or a third a cup, I'll add it. I'm actually gonna get in there with my hand. Yeah, much easier. And I'm actually gonna stop there because we don't want a super dry dough. And that, I believe, is perfect. We're just gonna cover this with a damp towel and let it set overnight. Let all that gluten and yeast develop in this loaf. Got our towel on there. I'll see you guys in the morning. It's early Saturday morning and I am gonna get some sausage cooking. We're gonna make a breakfast casserole this morning. I saw this on Facebook. I'm always doing checking recipes and I wanted to give it a try. It looked delicious. Plus, we're going to get our bread. It has rose overnight. We're going to get that in some loaf pans because it needs to rise again for another two to three hours. Here's our bread. 
and I'm going to grab some loaf pans. I actually still forgot to pick up cooking spray, so we're going to oil these really well and hope that they don't stick. <laughs> but this rose all night. I wish it, I feel like it should have rose a little bit more, but we're going to be hopeful that we have a good loaf of bread here. And there's no yeast in it, so it's just our sourdough starter. We're going to do this in loaf pans. I've thought about it, and our house is kind of cool, too, this morning. We left the window open last night, and it's kind of chilly in here, so that may be why it didn't rise as well. But we're just going to split this dough in half. It's a no-need bread, and we're just going to kind of shake it into the loaf and cover it back up. Simple, simple. It smells amazing. And that was easy. Okay, we're just going to cover that back up with our towel and we're going to forget about it for another three or four hours. We are going to get a casserole dish out and get our crust in the bottom while we're waiting on our sausage to cook. Right, I'm taking this same napkin that we had for our bread because it's just saturated with oil. And I'm just wiping down my pan here. Get my sausage stir here. We're gonna open our crescent rolls and we're just gonna kind of unfold them and pop them in the bottom here and make a crust. a ton of eggs right now. Our chickens have went into hyperdrive and we have been getting a ton of eggs which I'm super excited about because there for a while we were having to use our water glassed eggs. And we're going to put about six eggs in a bowl here. since I have a couple of extras here, I'm just going to go ahead and throw them on. I've got a whole bucket here that needs to be washed and ready for the fridge, but I just haven't had time yet. Now we're going to add some sour cream. I have about half of a cup here, and we're going to add that in and mix it well. Making messes this morning. Could also use cream cheese. I just didn't have any, so I decided to try it with sour cream. Okay. 
Okay, and we're gonna pour that over the top of our eggs, or our sausage mixture here. Get that sour cream kind of spread out. Now we're gonna put a little cheese on top and we're gonna get it in the oven. simple. Into the oven it goes. Once this casserole gets close to being done, I will make a little pan of gravy because Wayne wanted some gravy with it. I just took this casserole out of the oven and it looks delicious. I'm going to get Wayne some gravy made and we're going to have some breakfast. All right, we're fixing to bake this dough. I'm gonna put a few little slits in it. One's got a little more dough than the other. I just want to have a place where it can split in the center. And we're baking it on 450 degrees for 30 minutes, is what the recipe said. All right, we're gonna get it in the oven. Here's our two loaves fresh out of the oven. I'm gonna do a little butter on top. It turned out beautiful. Later, we'll cut them. Here's our beautiful bread out of the pans. I'm gonna slice this smaller loaf just so we can see what it looks like. And taste too. Look at that. That is really good. It's got a nice crunch on the outside. This inside is super soft and moist. Definitely a good keeper recipe. No yeast was used in this, just our sourdough starter. And I think it turned out pretty great. Thank you guys for stopping back by our homestead. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, friends, goodbye.